to share a recent dream I had about the power of the blood of Jesus. And in John 10.10, 10, it talks about how um, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And that can literally mean to steal our life or destroy our life. But uh, Jesus said, I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. And he gave me a very specific encounter in a dream that solidified this on a level um, is hard to explain. But the message I got from it was that there is power, a power that we don't even understand in the blood of Jesus. And decreeing and speaking out the blood of Jesus, the enemy just has to flee. And so um, in, in this time right around when I had the dream, I was given a pretty severe warning dream to share with somebody uh, about a way that the enemy was trying to take their life, a plan he had to take their life. And um, I've had a couple dreams like that. Those are definitely not um, fun or good in the moment. They don't feel good. But, but I believe that through sharing those warning dreams with these people um, that I actually helped um, stop the plan of the enemy to kill them and to take their life sooner than the Lord intend and that the Lord has written for them in heaven. And so, um, in, I had just had to share, uh, this warning with somebody about, um, a potential threat to their life that the enemy was planning. And, um, after I had that, I shared that I had this dream and in the dream, I'm standing in a room of people and I notice a man, actually a very famous um, Hollywood, um, somebody who's a rapper, a uh, famous person that I know is into the occult, and he was walking through the room, and I call him out, and I say, hey, and uh, the man comes toward me, and grabs me by both arms, and in the moment that he grabs me, his face shifts, and I know at that moment I'm looking into the face of the destroyer, into the face of Satan, or a high-ranking demon, I believe it was Satan, the intensity of evil and darkness in his face is hard to describe, but he is looking at me with trying to intimidate me and he's grabbing both of my arms very tightly. And I start to lose, um, a lot of times when you encounter demons in dreams, you won't be able to move or talk. That's kind of the warfare you encounter physically when you're dealing with the demon. And so I start to lose some of my ability to move, but I immediately say, Jesus, 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 and the and Satan, who's who's holding me, this demonic figure, tightens the grip down because he knows we're now we're doing battle. Now we're now we're gonna fight it out. And I say it again. I say Jesus, 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 and I don't have fear. A lot of the dreams that I've I've had in the past with with demons, um, especially when they're coming after me. There's a lot of fear, but in this dream, I was not afraid, and I'm eye to eye with him saying the name of Jesus. So he buckles down and gets one degree more intense and tries to take me out. And that last time I say, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, and instantly he's gone. And I believe when I woke up from this dream th that the Lord was making it very clear to me that there is power in the blood of Jesus to take out the plans of the enemy, to actually decree what God is saying over someone, abundant life and healing and um, redemption, all these things that come from the goodness of God. When we speak the blood of Jesus over situations that, that the enemy is trying to attack, the enemy must flee. And there is power beyond what we can imagine in the name of Jesus and even... even um, I wouldn't say more so. I would just say he made it very clear that we need to tap into decreeing the blood of Jesus over people we love, uh, over situations, over dark, over darkness, over our nation, over anything we encounter that is that the destroyer is trying to uh, destroy and take and steal from. I wanted to share this because um, you know. You can think and call me a mystic if you want, but I, when I have these type of dreams, um, after having dreams for the last couple of years, I know that I, the, what is happening is the Holy Spirit's actually allowing me to see what's happening in the spirit 
while I sleep. And so I know that, that this is true, that there is power in the blood of Jesus. And when we speak it out and decree it, and when we're face to face with a demonic attack, you can be sure that he has to flee when we plead and decree the blood of Jesus. So I pray this blesses you and encourages you. And I just want to pray, um, Father, I just come before your throne right now. And I thank you, Jesus, for, for your spilled blood on the cross. I thank you that one drop of blood was enough to save mankind, Lord, that, that your perfect, spotless lamb who was put on that cross shed his blood, and by that blood, the enemy was defeated. That, that you, Jesus, took back the keys and have all authority, and the enemy has no authority. He is under your feet, and so he is under our feet, Father. And so I just pray for whoever is listening that you would just infuse them with deeper understanding and agreement in their spirit that the blood of Jesus is enough to conquer even the most high-ranking demonic attacks on their lives and to bring peace and blessing to a nation that is in, in battle and in bondage and to a family member that they think is too far gone. The blood of Jesus is stronger than any attack. And so I just release and decree that truth over them. I pray it sinks into all of us and that we would start decreeing the blood of Jesus in every day as we come against the plans of the enemy. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray this. Amen.